Salesforce Space Station. Hello everyone. On this video, we're going to discuss Einstein Activity Capture Basics, what it does and how to set it up. Before we start, let's enumerate first the features we're going to discuss. So number one would be streaming of emails, and number two is streaming of events. So the concept basically is that for all your activities, um, all your communications with the client, emails and events, to be captured and stored in Salesforce. So first, we'll run through. Um, we're we're going to run those uh, features as we go on the setup. So let's dive into it. So first thing to do is to assign the permission set. So from setup, just search for permission sets. From here, look for standard Einstein activity capture. manage assignments and then you should be able to add the users who wanted to have this feature so click on add assignments and then from here you can see all your users or, or all your active users once that is added go to setup again and search for Einstein activity capture and then go to settings so if this is the first time you set it set this up there will be a guided setup here so basically it will just ask you which um uh server you're going to connect is it a g suite um microsoft exchange of, or office 365 so as you can see i connected my g suite account and then it will ask you to create a configuration so you just need to put the configuration the name and the users you wanted to have this sync feature so we're not going to run through the sync feature on this video uh, when it's, and we're just going to run through the stream functionality. So um, the users that you're going to see here are only the users that have permission set. So make sure to assign uh, the users on that permission set if you wanted to have EAC functionalities. So from here uh, is where you can control uh, what feature you wanted. So we have this emails, uh, email streaming, uh, event syncing, and contact syncing. You can also control the directions of which you want those items to sync. And then uh, since we don't have, uh, since once you connected your account um, to Einstein Activity Capture, your, 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 G, your G Suite or your Office 365 account, you don't have um, the capability to filter which email that you wanted to sync in Salesforce. So um, the only way to control that is via uh, exclude addresses. So from here, you can add domains. For example, you don't want um, emails that is coming in from your colleagues to enter into Salesforce. Then you can just uh, add your internal domain here. You can also add specific email addresses if you want. Uh, if only want like three people um, emails not to come into Salesforce automatically, you can do that here. So once that is done, um, you can now connect your email account. So go to personal settings, and then from here, search for connected accounts. Then click on email and calendar accounts. So from here, you can connect your account, just click on new account, and you can choose uh, what type of account you're going to connect. So again, it will be Google, Office 365, and MX Exchange. So once that is connected, the streaming functionality should be working already. So uh, to test that one, I have this sample contact. So again, the concept of this feature is for all your email communications and events to be logged in Salesforce automatically. So to test that out, I'm going to email this um, email address, but I'm going to send the email from my Gmail account. Here. As email we see today. And I send this, that specific email should be visible in the activity timeline of that contact. But that will only happen if you, the, the one, the email address that you emailed is already a contact or a record in Salesforce. So this works for contacts, 
um, accounts and leads. So if, if I refresh this, that email should be already available in the activity timeline of this specific content. Here, you can see it's, it was sent today and to 29 p.m. So that's how the streaming of emails work. So the next one would be the streaming of um, events. So let's go to calendar first. But we'll still stay to the contact record. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an event and I'm going to invite or add this um, sample contact participant of that event. This event, we see at the guest. And save, send. All right. Click on refresh, and then that event should be visible in the activity timeline of this contact. Show all activities. Just wait, it could take a while. There you go. So it's now um, available here. So you can view the details of that event, the time, and everything. You could also see it from the calendar. If I refresh this, here you go test event AC. I hope you guys were able to learn um, something from this uh, video and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you. Sales for Space Station.